We know that many discoveries in the area of science and technology, but not only, occurred because of the combination of the knowledge from various different fields. In certain sense, uh, we could say that it is like making a very beautiful picture, like a mosaic, by using apparently uncorrelated stones. In the case of digitization, it is going uh, to be how we can uh, best combine the knowledge uh, from the various different fields in a very trustful dialogue. In uh, 2016, together with my colleagues present of the various academies, we defined the strategic subject to generate a shared culture within the Swiss Academies of Art and Sciences. In 2017, at the World Economic Forum in Davos, the main subject was what it is going to be the impact of digitization, not only in science and technology, but also in industry and in society. In discussing the subject with um, our State Secretary Mauro de Lambrogio, we asked also the question, what is it going to be the impact of digitization on education and in society in Switzerland? We recalled thereby that in Switzerland, we tend to say nobody should be left behind everybody should be on board. It is like in the case of a revolution. If we want to make sure that the revolution will not end up in a catastrophe, we need to properly prepare the involved players and also think about what is it going to be the structure after the revolution. The role is going to be rather simple. It will be primarily a matter of showing real synergies and also demonstrate real cross-fertilization. The challenges are also quite simple across the three main curricula uh, in Switzerland, from uh, vocational training to the role of professional universities to the one of classical universities. All of them should share their own experience and use the cross-synergies. In the case of the classical universities especially, it is already rewarding now to see how people tend to reinvent themselves, to prepare in some sense for the time after the revolution, also in order to be able to show to the taxpayer how they can fulfill their expectations. It will be primarily again a matter of close, trustful interaction. And we can think in this context, obviously, of very unconventional approaches, like uh, job rotation between uh, industry and academia and vice versa for all three different uh, curricula in Switzerland. Now, it will be also a matter of not just approaching the disruptive revolution of digitization in order to survive, but actually to lead this change in such a way as uh, you have to do in the classical business, not in order not to be taken over by the so-called online business. The main contributor in Lugano will surely be the prize winner of the Balsan Prize 2016, Federico Capasso, former colleague from Bell Laboratories and now at Harvard. Federico is going to share with us in Lugano his remarkable, uh, his fantastic experience in science and technology and also his ideas about entrepreneurship. The subject will be, in his Balchan lecture, the impact of integrated optics, especially in the 21st century. In this context, I would also like to thank uh, Enrico De Cleva. Professor De Cleva helped us significantly to uh, bring uh, Federico Capasso to Lugano and convince him to give his Balchan lecture at UZI and SUPSI. Um, we are going to have many other remarkable speakers 
and also I would like to point out the role of many chairmen and all of the participants to share their experience in the area of uh, the coming revolution in digitization. Uh, I also have to point out that without the already excellent contribution from SUPSI, UZI and also of the organization of the Swiss organization in vocational training, we would not have been able to prepare and to then have this fantastic symposium in Lugano coming April. I would like to thank them all already in advance. With many colleagues, we do share the opinion that digitization on the medium long term is going either to strengthen, if not to generate some new societal values. This will be primarily based not only in science and technology, but also including all the other disciplines. Finally, I think it will be a matter of making sure that we can avoid corruption and bigotry, especially like we know it in the Western world, and build up a society which is going to be primarily focused on trust, openness and transparency. Yes, we know that by 2030, Switzerland will have to show to the other countries around the world what it has achieved in terms of sustainable development goals. Now, we know that uh, education uh, especially the use of uh, digitization in the area of education is going to be fundamental, if not uh, even crucial, in achieving the sustainable development goals. This is the reason why in Lugano we have, to, we have decided to have special work workshops. This will be dealing with the influence of digitization on society, on economy, on creativity, on the workplace. We hope, therefore, to obtain some interesting, genuine hints about what we can do in our country to help achieving these famous sustainable development goals.